both in a buccolingual and mesiodistal direction. I've removed the temporary restoration and I'm now irrigating the pulp floor and the mesiolingual canal. Once the canal has been dried, I can clearly see the head of the instrument under high magnification. Being able to visualise the instrument like this means that retrieval should be much easier. In order to retrieve a separated instrument such as this, we need to make sure there's an unimpeded exit pathway and remove any obstructions. This is best carried out with a modified Gates Glidden size 2 or 3. We want to be conservative so as to not destroy the root canal. Once we've achieved a staging platform over the head of the instrument, we can then trough around it with an ultrasonic tip. And finally, applying lateral pressure to the piece of broken file, we will hopefully retrieve it. The Gates Glidden Burr can be easily modified by grinding off the bullet tip. Gates Glidden is then used to prepare the root canal down to the head of the instrument. In this case I'm using a little bit of lateral pressure because I could see on the CT scan that there was a curvature in a buccolingual direction. I want an unimpeded exit pathway or straight line access to the head of the instrument. Irrigating the root canal I can then look under high magnification to ensure that I've got a good staging platform around the head of the instrument. High magnification shows a little donut of dentine around the head of the instrument and this is removed by troughing with an ultrasonic tip. Here a fine ultrasonic tip is being used to trough around the head of the instrument. Applying lateral force with the ultrasonic tip encourages the piece of broken instrument to unscrew itself. instrument is now loose and can be retrieved with a pair of forceps. We can see the deformation on the file tip. It's obviously been working hard in the root canal and that's probably why it fractured. The final PA radiograph was exposed before returning the patient to the dentist for completion of root canal treatment.